Hello my beloveds, thank you for joining me again. So today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to talk about why I stop intimate fasting. My name's Taki. Let's begin. So I started, obviously being a health coach, I know what intimate fasting is. I've, I've helped my, a lot of clients uh, uh, through this method. But I decided, you know, after the baby and I wasn't shifting enough weight and one of my other businesses, I was working so hard in it that I'm just going to give this a diligent go. Um, I was doing it, but very um, sporadically. And the method I was doing, because I found it so hard, I thought maybe it's just not for me. So um, I was doing, um, what method was I doing? The 18-6? 18-6. And after you hear what I've got to say, I still don't like the 18-6. So it's sometimes, just because something is easier to do, so cool, doesn't mean it's for you. So on that note, um, I started uh, the middle of intimate fast, sorry, I started the middle of January and I started on a very odd day. It was like a Wednesday and I had a date and I thought, wasn't I meant to do something? And I looked and I thought... I was meant to start this intimate fasting two days later I totally forgot and I thought you know what I'm gonna start and I'm gonna eat today because I have a date it's Wednesday and then tomorrow I'm gonna fast and it went on like that so I I, I accidentally ended having my days be um, Monday eat Wednesday eat because it was alternative days if you don't know much about that I will either put something here sorry something here about it I can't remember I think brain fog 18.6 16 8 16 8 I, I don't even bother and i just think it's a waste of time i think it's a um an insult to be honest i feel like you have to be very severe overweight or very 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 undisciplined i think my any everyone should at least start with 16 8 uh, 16 no sorry 18 6 18 6 24 i do but I do it within my alternative days. So instead of alternative days and waking up and um, eating, I wait till like three, four. So I push it. So that is like 24. And I only give myself a four hour eating gap. Um, longer than, and if obviously it's less. Alternative. One day a meal. I haven't tried that properly i have done it but i've not done it on purpose um for a whole week i've done the 20 for a whole week and it was just a disaster like it doesn't work for me i end up in the four hours i just end up eating too much unnecessary so for me that is a no-no um but like i said i do do it within my um alternative days one day meal i might try that I we, might try that adults. alternative days because that might zone things in a little bit more. Um, three day, five days, seven days, 14 days, 21 days, water fast, amazing. I did my first free, free day one last month. I just came off this week of my five day one. And yeah, they're tough. I'm not gonna lie, the three day one, after I finished that, I thought, how am I gonna do five days? It's just not gonna happen. Five days one, I'm like, I was dying like, towards oh the end. Oh my God, oh my God. But when I did it and I was finished and I was focused, I was happy. So um, each once a month, I'm going to be doing a water fast. So next month, it's going to be for seven days. The month after that, it's going to be for 10. The month after that, it's going to be for 14. And I'm going to work my way up and see if I can get to something like 21. Uh, for at by the end of the year but these are just personal goals these are just goals for help this is just goals for discipline this is just goals for spirituality connecting with god this is this is goals for me to have not food rule my life or be the focus and even with all the fasting that i've done and that it still niggles at me a little bit but not obviously i know not as much as other people but it's still too much for me so um on that note, that's why I stopped my intimate fasting was because I just got sick and I was scared it was because of COVID and that was it. 
Um, it wasn't through the grace of God and now I have an opportunity to make sure my health is my number one, my focus is my number one, my spirituality with my relationship with God is number one, my family and that is what I'm working with and being grateful for even be having the opportunity to be in this situation like you know I'm at home with my daughter, you know I'm looking at the bright side of things and I think the fasting and that self-discipline really helps that. I mean, I'm, I'm hearing so many Time people having this. a heart. I'm like, how? Is it because you can't go out or you don't like your own company? Um, you know we will be going out. You know, it's not like we. It's, it's doomsday. So I think just like the corona, fasting, put it into perspective. Put it into perspective and you will be fine. And, you know, you've got so many... What I tend to do when I'm fast and I'm doing these long for I just been watch, been watch YouTube. I've been watch the things I want to learn. Like I want to learn. The um, flute. I'm watching a lady on YouTube called Terry Ann. I'm Saint Lucian and she do, she makes amazing Saint Lucian food. And no, they're not keto. They're not the healthiest, but they're not the worst. But they're home food. They're comfort food, and it is that in inner genetics that makes you want food that comes from your own culture. So I've been watching that, and I'm. I'm improving my cooking skills and that's fun through watching cooking seriously her food is delicious watching cooking food while I'm fasting and not breaking my fast like amazing so then what I have what I do is I look for finished like weight until about three days after and I've really eaten a lot by then so it was like this is what it what I started at and this is what I did three days later but I felt obviously lighter amazing proud of myself i know that it's doing a lot for me health wise um benefits and I'll here put some, you know brain fogged at the moment today so i started um my alternative so that finished friday saturday i ate sunday i ate and i wish i was a lot more disciplined in that i just i wasn't undisciplined i just didn't have the structure and that i had structure works well for me and then monday i should have had more structure but I, I should have broke my fast at three, but I broke it at like nine o'clock in the morning and then just went on till seven. So, but I don't feel terrible about it. It is what it is. Um, and then I fasted now and that now, video, like I said, in now, felt starving. Absolutely felt starving at 11 o'clock, thought I could eat a horse. Uh, and then I did the video and I feel okay. Now it's near the time. I'm like, you know, could I prolong it? I'm not going to though. But I, 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 I could feel in that mood to prolong I've, it. I've um, done I've, a few prolonged fasts. We, I think it's more when I'm out and when I'm busy, I can do that. I am going to show you actually, um, well, in the next video, how, I, um, how I'm going to break this fast. But all in all, um, tell you, um, I, broke, I, I stopped, why I stopped intermittent fasting was just because I got sick and I was scared and I didn't know what was going on my emotions got the most of me i wasn't spiritually grounded so it was just all over the place but it wasn't because intimate fasting doesn't work okay. me as, as much as i'm not your health coach and i can't advise you medically in or or, or or in the health ways what to do i do believe that it works for everyone and as an uh, as a society as a nation as a world we should be fasting on a lot more regular basis um how much money i save on food you know, the amount of food. One of the reasons why I feel like I can't even do keto or or really narrow down on more healthy foods, so to speak, is because of um, what's going on. I I'm not on a lot of money and I can't afford to be throwing out rice and stuff like Me, that. I'm so still eating. I'm just eating smaller portions. And each day, each week, I learn something new about myself. Even if I make the mistake again, I'm like, let me just give you an example. The first week I hadn't had, a, I, I didn't buy my new freezer, so I had bought some scones, and because obviously they're in the fridge and they're not going to last for every alternative day fasting. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I had scones. That was after I had my shake and left it for an hour. The first meal I ate was a scone. There was nothing wrong with that. They were big, and they were, and I had two. Now this week um, I'm only having it once. The Ooh, scones I'm not having one. And I'm having it with, obviously, both times I had it with berries and cream. Now I've even measured the cream and it was not on purpose. It's because I've put them in. I
do trays because I'm trying to you know preserve everything and that's what I'm trying to say examples like that each time you do something that doesn't work for you want to improve it you learn and you may not do it the first time the second time but you will do it if it's important to you so one of the things that I advise you to to do your intimate fasting is take the pressure off yourself and just know that every moment of you on a fast you will learn more you will learn better techniques you know if you're lucky enough to have a health coach or someone that kind of knows what to do they can give you some tips to fast forward yourself plus it's an accountability um, having someone there accountable for you my, my clients can achieve a lot more greater uh, results because of me i don't have no one to rely on but myself and god obviously for me anyway um yeah so my advice for you is keep going it's just worth any levels it. At the moment, I feel a little bit brain fogged. Sorry, let me fix the camera. Um, brain fogged. I don't know why. Um, I get like that sometimes. Um, but majority of the time, my focus is A1. Like, literally A1. Like, quick. Um, in, alternative day fasting is for me, like, long-term wise. Um, I'm not very good with uh, the 18... Is it 18? Sorry, I had to sort out my daughter. So where was I? I started on a very awkward day. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And that what that's how it ended up being my days. And no complaints. So because one of my priorities was making sure that I have Sunday dinner with my daughter, um, a tradition I just want to kind of keep up and have that memory, so to speak. Making sure I have roast dinners and all that kind of stuff. So Sunday is a bit of a free day, but what I do tend to do is make sure that I break my fast quite late. Um, so because uh, obviously seven days a week is uneven, um, my days are set on the same. And you don't have to do it like that. You can alternate, uh, you can, what's the word? Gosh, I've lost the word. Um, you, can, you can just continue throughout the whole month and, um, Continue like can like you could do Monday, you Monday you eat, Tuesday you fast, Monday you eat, and you could do that throughout the month. I stick with my days, but I might change that as a challenge to me though. So don't quote me on that one. Anyway, um, so that was the middle of January. Doing it, so I, I, you know, I was I, you know, I wasn't looking that much difference in photos. I will show you, but in my clothes like lifting up my arms all of this i felt lighter now one thing i do have advantage as a health coach and i have been in great shape before is that i'm quite patient so i'm not like oh oh, oh i need to lose weight oh, oh i need to see the belly gone because i know if i do the work I'll, i will see it i don't complain about things that i'm not doing so if i'm not doing the work what's the point of complaining do i find it difficult of course do i have um a mental and for me spiritual blocks about it of course but in hindsight i've seen i've seen people come from a to b and you don't have that, even if you're not a health coach you can look on youtube um so if they can do it you know you can do it and it is um it is definitely a mindset change and for me it's a spiritual thing because to me nothing means nothing unless you've got that so i don't see the point of getting into shape when you don't have your whys and your whys can't be superficial so that it won't, that it won't last it won't last so and you see that even with me now you see that even with people that struggle even with as good as intimate fasting is the days that you do break your fast you know it's, it, it's hard anyway it's hard but it's worth it so I did that and I was learning and making a few mistakes I actually wish I did a lot for more videos because I would have a lot more insight into the, the day to day i had i did do my videos before and i think i've got four of them and a couple of vlogs you can check that out but i couldn't and i'll link that up here now but i didn't i wasn't as um i wasn't sending out the content as frequently because i got sick and that's why i stopped the intimate fasting i never got stopped sick. the intimate fasting in a way in a normal way like you get sick and people say don't do that because to be honest if I got sick right now, I'd continue fasting. I'd probably fast for longer, just to help me. But the reason why is because all this COVID was happening, all this quarantine. It wasn't even the quarantine at the time, it was COVID. So it was just the case of this virus is going around. I sick. I was scared. And I mean, I'm not lying to you. I was scared. So the point I actually went 
into hospital, but I got tested negative. I was scared that I, I have never been in such pain. Um, I know that some people don't have symptoms, but my body was killing me. Now, I don't know if that was a result of prior exercising because I just gone back to the gym a couple of weeks before but it was kind like put to, into perspective to, for me but not in the way that I sorted things out I got lazy I didn't clean up I didn't wash up we didn't know what was going on I couldn't go back I couldn't go back to work I run my own business plus I do my health coaching so it was like okay what do I do so I was like I just embraced it and even as we're still under lockdown now and nothing is perfect I'm still embracing it you know i in that time you know i'm i'm a christian i i i, I was i was baptized in october last year but i literally got saved like a week ago on my kitchen floor i have just been in awe and how i got saved on the kitchen floor was through fasting i just i've just literally come off a five day my first five day walk fast I don't have no results for you because I never I never logged anything and I don't know why. Um, my weight I did log log, but I didn't log when I'm when I finished the fast. So I look forward to that. And that's that's another thing fasting does for you. All you do is think about what what you can have when you can have it. And then when you do have it, you're like, mm, it's not what it's cracked up to be. So sometimes I buy things because I think, mm, mm, and then when I have it, I think mm, it wasn't all that. So, but you learn. And then you may do it the second time. You may even do the third time. I think, oh, maybe this is not for me. So it's as long as you don't break that fast. Everything else is all good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your time. I hope that helped. I know that um, in all things, people are always looking for excuses or why something doesn't work. But I think as long as you... It's not rocket science. It does help if you have an either accountability coach on the or same. someone wavelength as you. Another thing I do advise is to track things. I do have a tracker. When I got sick, I didn't. I didn't track anything. And this time, for some reason, and I don't know why, I didn't track this fast, which is really strange because I normally do. I have a link below, which gives you access to my app, which is absolutely free. So you can download the trackers i have an intimate uh, fast tracker that has um the whole weeks so you can mark down what your what type of intimate fast that you want to do and you can be as flexible as you want your before weight and your after weight and i've got other trackers that can track your weight for the four weeks or can just track your weight before and after whatever your goals are for the intimate fast and you have so many options um you can play around with them and that is not called failing it's just called finding out what works for you like i said to you the um is it the 186 186 16 sorry 16 8 doesn't work for me i wouldn't even bother the 18 other one that doesn't work for me. The 24, like I said, I've done it for a week. As much as I use it in my alternative day one, and I love it, I don't I don't like it on uh, all week. I was just eating like a hog, and, you know, I was doing it. So um, you've got to figure out what works for you, and you can only do that by trying different things out. Learn from YouTube, learn from others, check out my downloads, get them, they're free. Uh, you just got them in, a, in one of these... Um, plastic things and then you can track yourself because believe me if you don't know how far you've come you'll forget you will forget and you will not understand or you'll set your goals unrealistically or you'll set them too low or too high in the sense of you need to pace yourself and that's no what way I, do. I could have just jumped into a five-day water fast no way you know, there's no way I can just jump into a 14 day. You've got to thing yourself up. The same with the fasting. I started the lower fasting. I see it didn't work for me, but I know my personality. So I said, let me, let me go for the alternative day one. And that worked for me. And that's the one I'm staying with. And when it doesn't work for me, I swap life change. changes and you've got to adapt yourself. But as long as you're consistent, I think you're is good to go so guys thank you very much like subscribe press the no no notification bell i'll be posting a lot more um updates on um my intimate fasting journey and honest pictures and and things even as i'm a health coach and you know right, everything right now else, i still am human and i can still advise even in my situation that i'm in now in the sense of you know trying to get myself back into shape especially during this quarantine time um what else do I want to say? Yes, I will be updating every Sunday. Um, 
um, my weekly um, post and I've decided to do a challenge for myself where how I've restarted after this um, five day water fast, um, my intimate fasting alternative days, I'm restarting, I'm giving myself a 90, 90 days um, challenge maybe 95 I'm not too sure um, challenge um, so if you want to join that you're more than welcome you can just add yourself onto my app or just let me know you can either do it for 30 days you can do it for 60 days or you could do it for the whole 90 um, you can pick any type of uh, fasting method that you want and join me on it guys this is about health prosperity wealth mentally spirituality this is everything that makes a human being you know amazing so yeah, you'll be getting some daily vlogs from me. And that is it. So now I'm going to go and uh, make my pea protein shake. I will do a video and I'll link that. If you want to see that below, take care guys.